Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Echa, nice to meet you. Today, we are going to be building our own Brewster Cafe because you know what? I have come to the conclusion that it will take over like a thousand years until Nintendo gives us Brewster. So today, we're gonna be building our own Brewster Cafe. So before we get started, I just wanna give a huge credit because the custom designs, the whole design of the cafe is by tropikitch underscore AC and H on Instagram. So please, 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 please go follow her. I will link her Instagram down below in the description as well. So please go follow her. I also love like flicks tattoo parlor And I'm also probably gonna recreate that because I just really like the idea of having like a tattoo parlor on my island But that aside today, we're gonna be doing a uh, Brewster's cafe Okay, so the first thing I did was lay down all of my custom designs on the floor So I found these like two really really pretty city core custom designs Which I will put in the description So if you want any custom designs from this video, please go check out my description because it's all there. I found these two and they're so pretty and just super perfect for this area in my island And at first I wanted my map to look good So I put down the in-game path and then I put my custom designs on But then I realized that it didn't look that good because the edges really don't look that clean Like I'll put it up on the screen right now This is what it looks if you have the in-game path and then you put on the custom design And this is what it looks if you only put down the custom design Like it just looks so much better. I was like, okay, whatever. I don't care about my map anymore and i was just gonna make my island look good so this is how it goes from now on uh and by the way if you are building along with me you will need six bookcases total for this build and eight simple panels it took a lot of time traveling for me and a lot of nook is on so to get all of the materials for this build but it was definitely 100 percent worth it i started off by building some inclines so if you don't know i have like inclines behind the four bookcases that i put in front so i can go to the second floor in order to place my simple panels there as well i don't does my explanation make sense i feel like i'm like literally the worst person to explain anything then i customize a stall because the simple panels are annoying the custom designs are replicated on the top and the bottom i wish you could just like customize the simple panels as a whole i feel like that would be a huge step up in the game but anyways so in order to kind of like block out custom design on the bottom area i put the stall in front of the simple panel to kind of like block it a little bit and that's exactly what tropi kitsch underscore acnh did on her instagram as well i basically just copied her because i have literally no creative process i literally have no creative ideas for this build i don't know what happened to my um creativity it just went out of the roof so i'm so sorry <laughs> but that is kind of what happened um then i went up to the second floor and i placed all of my custom designs i placed the bookcases behind the simple panel because it kind of like elevates the whole look a little bit. The top simple panel says Brewster's Cafe, which is so cute. I love it so much. Then I started putting like some decorations in front. So I put a little coffee maker and a coffee cup, which I later on changed to a boba cup because I am biased towards boba. Um, then I placed all of that on to the stall and then I started placing the snacks and the tables and the chairs and everything in front and it all came together and it looks so pretty. I love this build so much. This is me replacing the coffee cup with the boba cup because I thought it would be cuter, but I did later on place the coffee cup on one of the tables in front of the restaurant. Then I went into my house. I got some more iron garden chairs and tables that I paid for so much on Nookazon. Like, when I wanted the DIY recipe, I wanted it so bad that I paid like a ridiculous amount of money for the DIY recipe, but now that I have it, I like i find it everywhere anyways whatever the case i customized these simple panels and i put it on the side the wood on the simple panels are actually is actually animal crossing's design and i think it is one of the prettiest animal crossing designs there is i guess because i actually don't like the other ones um i think this one's one of the better ones i guess um anyways i'm just decorating the front area of this little cafe and i think it turned out really really cute hi guys welcome to the tour portion of this video where i tour my island sorry i'm like really hyper right now because i like slept throughout my whole day today and now i'm like super hyper so this video might be really really crazy anyways also i have a new outfit is it cute because i think it's cute and i'm we're just gonna ignore that low battery on the corner right there no one cares 
Anyways, this is kind of like my little alleyway and I have like I, I wanted it to be like super cluttered and like small because that's kind of how I like my island to be You know, it's hard to walk in means it's a good island <laughs> Also, I wanted to kind of go back to my asian roots a little bit and I have like a little ramen shop Right here and I think it's so cute It's a ramen shop and a little tea set with like a fan here and the fan this fan completes like the whole look like i'm not even kidding you know those like side market restaurants where they sell like ramen and noodles and stuff they always have like fans there because it's like so hot so anyways once you come here you go to brewster's cafe so pretty so anyways you can get a cup of coffee you can get a cup of boba you can sit here enjoy the view it's kind of cloudy today and i'm kind of sad that it's cloudy anyways this is brewster's cafe i love it so much i think it's one of my favorite spots on the island if you walk here you can come to nook's cranny which i also love a lot i love how i put like the lecture hall benches here and how there's like boxes in front of this cranny over here there's gonna be like another section of this whole kind of like city core aesthetic once you come here you can come to leaf's um little area i guess this is leaf's area where he sells plants and flowers this is like his bigger shop you know but he also stands in front of resident services a lot um there's a ping pong table here where you can play ping pong yeah i think it's cute i also captured a mosquito and every time i pass this i feel guilt and i feel sadness once you walk up here you can come to flick's tattoo parlor if you decide to become like a bad boy one day and and you um want a tattoo you know uh not talking to anyone in particular but raymond i really love this area i think it's so cute comment down below if you like it as well i really like city core and i think it's such an underrated aesthetic and theme yeah anyways tell me in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe because it helps me out so much and i would love to have you on this channel once again thank you so much for the endless support i love you guys so much don't forget to stay happy stay positive and i'll see you guys in the next one bye